So in this sentence about quasars, we get quasars, which is the noun, the subject of the sentence, then it's followed by this long modifying phrase set off by commas. And it actually is helpful sometimes when you have a modifier set off by commas just to try the sentence without that entirely and see how it works. So if we just say quasars believed to be, well, believed to be, that's a, that's a participial phrase. So that's beginning another modifying phrase. So we get quasars, then a modifying phrase, then this other modifying phrase begin, beginning with believed to be, and we get all the way to the end of the sentence and we're still waiting for a verb. Option A is a sentence that lacks a verb. Grammar 101, we need a verb in a sentence. So A is completely wrong. With B, we get a bona fide verb. Quasars are believed to be. That is perfect noun and verb, so that works. We'll see if we get something better, but that, that is at least a valid noun-verb construction. Then we get to C, quasars. Some believe to be, well again, this is a mod another modifying phrase, so it turns the rest of the sentence into a modifying phrase. We get quasars, modifying phrase, and we get to the end of the sentence, we're still waiting for a verb. Again, we need a verb in the sentence. So answer choice C is out. D and E take a different tact. D and E have a new noun and verb. So noun, verb, noun, verb. So quasars, some believe they are, that's grammatically incorrect. We can't just have a noun sitting there by itself and then followed by noun verb. So that doesn't work. E in particular, quasars, it is believed that they are. That should be, just be taken out back and shot. That is so wordy. So that's a disaster. So that leaves us with B. B is the only one that very simply follows the noun with a verb. Quasars are believed to be, et cetera, et cetera. B is by far the strongest answer choice. You could call it a stellar answer choice.